Hello there, I am Giant World with more Earthbound. In the last part, Paula, uh, we got to Jeff using, cause Paula contacted him through, uh, Psychic Powers, I believe, to contact Jeff. He kinda of broke out of his boarding home slash school. Um, and, uh, uh, he, with the help of, um, Tony, his best friend that's gay, um, he helped him escape and he used him as this, Jeff used him as like a boost to get over the gate basically and escape the boarding room, a uh, boarding school slash home, sorry, and he, um, let's bash this dog, I guess, and he escaped and he's going down south to try to rescue, uh, you know, Ness and Paula who are trapped in that dark room that's locked, yeah, so, yeah, I'm gonna basically be training Jeff in this part. That's like all that we're gonna really do. Okay, throw something away. Yes. Uh, is it a cookie? Yeah, I'm gonna throw away a cookie because I think bread roll does restore more HP. Throw away. Okay. We got the bread roll. Ness, uh, I said Ness. Jeff is now level 2. Um, ma maximum HP went up by 3. And that's about it. Okay, cool. Um, I should mention a couple things about Ura. Wait, okay, so there's a magic butterfly there, and you know, Jeff has 20, 0 PP right now. So if we try to grab it, there's actually a thing where, you know, he's programmed, Jeff is programmed, where he can't do, um, you know, PSI attacks, and he can't do any smash attacks with any of his weapons. He can do smash attacks by just punching him, as long as he doesn't have a weapon equipped, but you, you, you would want him to have weapons, you know, to get more uh, damage on enemies and stuff in battle. But, he... What's good about him is that, like, I'll show in the next battle, I guess, is that he can, as I said in the last part, he can, with a with enough IQ raised, he can repair items that are weapons that are broken and use them, and he can repair, like, items, he can make other items if he has enough IQ. It's really cool. Um, one thing that he can do in battle, which I'll show right now, okay, a gruff goat, I think it was, okay, so he can spy, like, if you remember, Paula's special technique is she can automatically pray, and then Ness is our main character, so he is just, you know, there for, like, attacking and PSI attacks with his, attacking with a baseball bat or whatever weapon he has in the, at the time, and then he can also use PSI attacks. Well, Jeff is that he can spy on the enemies, and this is good for boss battles, because if you look up, he'll, um, uh, just missed, okay, spies on the ghost, good, he, the, the ghost missed. Offense 18, defense 28, PSI 5, PS3, uh, weakness and, I guess resistance, I guess it said. Um, it'll like be really good for boss battles. It's kind of like tattling back in the Paper Mario series. Like Goombario can tattle on Paper Mario 64 on the enemies and sh tell you like what their HP is and something about them to help you out. So, let's just shoot this uh, goat, I guess. Gruff goat. Yeah. Okay. 13 HP, okay. We gotta keep on shooting him, I guess, because that's all our gun is, yeah. Oh man, I might. Jeff might faint. Just missed, okay, cool. No, I should have healed that time. Okay, I gotta really heal the next turn if it doesn't faint. Okay, good. Or uh, get tame, I guess. Become tame. 20 HP. Now, Jeff is level 3, yay. Offense went by 1. Q went by 1. Max HP went by 1. That's a better level up than when he levels up to level 2. So let's eat a couple of cookies, I guess, just to have more space in our inventory, or Jeff's inventory. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of all the cookies because they restore the least amount. So they're good for right now. So yeah. And we might as well eat that bread roll right now. We can all get some more cookies from crows that are actually in this area. 34 is the max HP right now. So let's go in this tent right here. I think it just has a... Oh, I don't know what's in this tent actually. Oh yeah, it's just kids. Okay. The tame animals have become wild. Something evil is going on. Yeah, guy guess is using the mind control right now. Okay, so why don't you rest here for a short while? Have a, something to drink. Perhaps some tea? Sure, why not? I think she restores your HP and not PP because again, uh, are you feeling much better? Good luck. Thanks. Because, um, Jeff doesn't have any, um, PSI moves or attacks. So yeah, that's a good way to just heal up your, up to the, your max HP, hopefully. Hopefully it restores up to your max HP, that'd be good. Then you can always come back to that tent. So I'm gonna actually just train more up here, because I wanna take advantage of that tent, because it's there. If Ness does, if Ness, if Jeff does get hurt. So, can't attack that crow from here. You can attack p co f uh, crows on one, just sometimes they just have it spot in the right angle. But always, it, it never always get, works, well, it could always work, but it just depends. Let's shoot the crow, okay. Come on. Oh yeah, and I didn't speak about Bubble Monkey's, um, what he can do in battle. Um, he can either waste a turn scratching his butt, 
Or he could um use just a regular attack, I think. So yeah. We got a cookie. That Jeff took it, okay. Okay, I only lost one HP. Oh, Jeff only lost one HP in that battle. So yeah. Let's see how many more power point uh, experience points? Okay, 13 to level 4. Okay, this should be good by fairly quick, I should say. Uh, we're away dog. We haven't seen these since Onet, and at least in the Paul and Ness story <laughs> part of the game. Because so when Jeff and Paul and Ness are Jeff and Paula and Ness are um in different parts of the game right now, obviously. Bird rule, nice. Okay, I wanna run into Moose because those give twenty HP or twenty experience points, not twenty HP. But where can I find one? We have to kind of just run into one, you know? It's kinda of random, or yeah, I think it's kinda of random. Come on, I wanna run into the one those Okay, fine. I'll go down more. Hopefully we run into one, cause those give out 28 experience points as I said, this will be, that'll be the quickest actually, cause it only takes about 5 hits for it to be defeated I guess. But I guess that could vary too, just depending on certain things. Here's a runaway dog, nice. Let's shoot the runaway dog, wow. Okay. Oh, of course you dodged it. Oh wait no, like you dodged the monkey's attack, okay. Bob monkey's attack. Four. okay. Need to get it. Where's one of those gruff goats or whatever they're called? Gruff goats, I think that's what they're called. Oh, well, where are you? Oh my gosh. We gotta find one or something or more enemies because I'm just not even working on it. I'm not even attacking enemies until right now because I'm attacking this crow. So yeah, I think also spying can also take um, an enemy's item, which I'll do in the next turn. Bob Monkey's attack missed. Okay, of course you dodged it. Let's spy then. Pumpkin's attack, okay. Yeah, spy for crow. Spies on the crow. Offense 5, defense 5, th defense 3, uh, fight, vert, vert. Okay, I can't read that fast. Jeez. Yeah, Jeff took the cookie, yeah. Yeah, tried to take something but failed. Good, you don't want to take your cookie back. Good. Ooh, a smash attack. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Jeff has a pop gun though as his held item, right? So how did he get smash attack? How did he get smash? I might be wrong on that because I just got a smash attack with the pop gun. And I thought you couldn't get smash attacks at all with Jeff. Huh, man. I'll have to discover if I'm right or wrong going on with the let's play because I'm not really sure. Maybe that was a. Maybe that was the monkey or some bubble monkey because I'm pretty sure Jeff can't get smash attacks, but I could be totally wrong. But I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that was probably the monkey. I'll, when I'm editing this, I'll probably see that it was the monkey that got the smash attack or something. Bubble monkey. He's not just a monkey, he's a bubble monkey. Okay, uh, you're the only one around here, so I'm gonna just pick on you, Crow. And we already might have won, yay. The experience, yeah. Jeff is not level 4, yay. Defense up by 3, speed 1 up by 2, guts 1 up by 1, 2, uh, IQ 1 up by 1, luck 1 up by 2, maximum HP 1 by 3. I mean, I was present. Yeah, it was a cookie. Jeff took it. I'm at 4. Yeah, I'm, okay. Yeah, I need a I need a gruff groat to get a lot of experience. Jeez, where's one? I only saw like a couple really. And all if you notice when you walk in with Bubble Monkey, he kinda looks around for a second and then catches up with you. And then when you walk over to another he just looks around left and right and then come catches up with you. It's kinda funny because like monkeys kinda get distracted, I guess, because they're trying to like um kinda be realistic with that. The runaway dog is tame, nice. Bread roll. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna replace the bread uh, cookie with a uh, cookie with the with the bread roll, because they give off. I think they give more HP back. Uh, restore more HP. Where's the gruff goat? At? They're like scarce now. I don't find. I don't. I don't know where any of them are. At least the um runaway dogs and the crows are getting really easy to beat. But like, I want an extra challenge with Jeff. I want him to take down another gruff goat. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, that was like one hit or maybe two hits. But I get four experience, I mean, and that's okay for now, but like, I want to just take down a goat with Jeff. I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah, as you see all looking around, and like, if you get to like a certain point, like where you get kind of get separated on purpose, so like a little groove like that, you like just catch up on it with you. Is there one more up here? Is that why I'm not looking? Huh. Because here's, here's the drugstore slash shop. And is there anything over here? Guess not. Nope. Okay. Yeah, the monkey can run fast when it comes catches up to you, like bubble monkey, I mean, yeah. Look at that, he can, he can run really fast. He can also chew bubble gum and, uh, you know, blow a bubble too. I just want to find another gruff goat or something, because I'm not, I'm not taking on anything really. 
Except for now a runaway dog, but still. Okay. Well, you're going down, runaway dog. Yeah, you became tame. Good. Bread will, of course. I'm gonna throw away another- I'm gonna replace it with another cookie. Yeah, there we go. Threw away the cookie and got the bread roll. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna make our way back to where, um, we need to be, actually. I won't cut or anything, because it's actually a small walk. Oh my gosh, I went the wrong way. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Whatever enemies I just run to, I'll just battle them again with Jeff. So is there anything over here? I don't think there is. Let me just double- no, okay, I checked down there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there, man. I like the music here, though. That's really nice. Okay, there's a tent right here. Let's go into it. It's just a lamp. No problem here. Just look at the lamp, Jeff. Okay, there's no problem here, apparently. There's a lantern unattended in a tent that could possibly burn it down. It's fire spreads, yeah. Okay, this is where we need to be. Again, that magic butterfly doesn't really, need, really affect Jeff or anything. So I'm just gonna go up here. Am I level 5? It's just level 5 yet? Nope, it's level 4, okay. Ay ay ay. This is a slow train right here. Oh yes, a gruff goat. Nice. Okay, first we have to get to the warning dog, but hopefully the gruff goat is still there. This is my chance to um, get Jeff up in the level 5, man. Oh, come on. You missed. Or it dodged or something. There we go. Nice. We came tame. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna throw in my- I'm gonna replace with my last cookie in here, yeah. So I got like four bread rolls now. Cool. Nice. Okay, let's go, Griff Group. Okay, I'm like right- he was like- he's like sitting on us, what it looked like. Or stand- stepping on us, basically. Griff Group, yeah. Oh yeah, for 9 HP, okay. That's fine. 1 HP, okay. Cool. We got this, we got this, we're level 4. Oh, the- <laughs> A smash attack with a 5 HP, wow, that's awesome, but we actually actually beat it though, so that's good. It's been a while since we've seen one of those in this part, like it's been at least a good 5 minutes I would say. I've been experienced till next level, okay. So that's like 3, that's like 3 um, runaway dogs, or 1 gruff groat, or I don't, I don't remember how many experience this crow gives me if I beat him with Jeff in battle. Yeah, it became tame, let's see how much experience I get from a crow, I forgot. It's been a while. 3H. I left the present. It's a cookie. I don't want another cookie, so I'm gonna just leave it. Leave the cookie behind. Ah, dang it! Okay, no. And then, yes. There we go. Okay. So, eight more experience points, so I'll get four right here if I beat this Revenue Dog with Jeff. Okay, let's do this. Nice. Let's just shoot the, let's shoot the Runaway Dog. Okay, it became tame. Okay, so four more experience points till you he was up to level five. Bread roll. Um do I want to throw something away? Do I have anything to replace it? Um No, I don't want I'm just gonna leave it behind then. Leave it behind, yes. Aban <laughs> Jeff abandoned the bread roll. <laughs> He's not hungry or anything, he just abandoned it. Okay, I'm gonna go back to where um the tents were at with all those other people. So um, hopefully we run into another enemy on the way, that'd be cool. Because I can get, if it, a uh, runaway dog, or, um, uh, gruff moose would be fine. Come on, where are they? Are they scared of Jeff now that he's almost level 5 or something? Jeez. Oh, man. Like, I just can't find any enemies right now. It's like, why, why is this, man? They're everywhere, pretty much. I guess it's, it's slacking because there should be enemies everywhere, basically. <laughs> Let's go through these trees right there. Oh, runaway dog. Nice. Perfect. Okay, let's just shoot this runaway dog with the pop gun, I guess. Yeah, you beam tame. Cool. Nice. Just level, five level 5. I totally went up by 1. That's awesome. Uh, Q went up by 1. That's not also good. Maximum HP went up by 8. Wow. Cool. So I'm gonna get, eat a bit. I'm gonna give... Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, I'm gonna give a bread roll to... Um, Jeff, I guess, to eat. He has HP maxed out, he's at 45 HP now. That's awesome. So we just have to spend a whole bunch just training up to level 5, that should be good for now. So I think there's a tent where we can actually save, but there's stuff on in there. 
So yeah, let's talk to some of these, um, I guess these guys like binoculars. I heard that the wind is always blowing when Tessie appears. Awesome. Ah, chew! I feel like I'm catching a cold. Oh, don't get me sick, man. Don't get Jeff sick. That's not very nice. A cold, a cold is actually deadly in this game. Every time you sneeze, it's 4, 4 HP gone. Jeez. It's, you lose 4 HP, I should say. Tessie may unexpectedly be living in the woods. I personally think so. Okay. Okay. What's it? I forgot what's in this tent. Is it another lantern tent or is it like an actual resting tent? Okay, cool. It is. Let's talk to this guy. I, if I find Tessie, do you think I'll get a? I'll be. I'll get in the newspaper. I'm looking for my 15 minutes. 15 minutes of fame. Jeez. Okay, maybe. So yeah, this one in my. I'm gonna end my part. Right, this part right here. So this one in my Earthbound Let's Play part. The next part we'll take on. Hopefully, we might run into Tessie. Who knows? And hopefully, we can get closer to rescuing uh, Paula and Ness from the locked room. That's a very dark. So this has been Giant Cool again. I would like to thank you for goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Earthbound Let's Play.